Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be testing out the new Van Ave Cover and Clean Fit Perfect Makeup and Perfect Cleansing Brush. Now, this item was actually sent to me by Go Selly. They are an Amazon retailer, so this item I'm pretty sure is sold exclusively on Amazon.com. They're the ones that also sent me the Bio N Like Skin Skin Cleansing items, if you remember that video. If you haven't checked it out yet, you really should because those skincare items are top notch. I use them every single day. I will link that video somewhere up here and down below as well. Before we get started, you guys, this is so exciting. I am filming with a brand new camera and microphone set up. I thought that it was time to go ahead and take the next step and amp up the quality of my videos just a tad to bring you guys the best quality that I possibly can. If you weren't familiar before, I was filming with the Sony A5100, which was a beautiful little camera, you guys. It is responsible for me even starting my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my makeup, all that stuff. So I have mad love for that camera, but it did not have the ability to let me connect an external mic. So I went ahead and upgraded to the Canon Rebel T6i and I have a little Rode microphone up there so let me know down below if you notice any difference in the video quality or the sound quality. I really hope you do. Um, it will take getting, some getting used to so I'm sorry if the camera goes funky focus or anything like that because I'm a newbie and I hope that it stays in focus the whole time. If you notice me looking over here at any given time it's because the viewfinder is no longer on top of my camera it is now to my right. So I'm trying my hardest to look directly at you guys and not in the viewfinder. But with that being said, and we got it all out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this product. I have already cleansed, moisturized, primed my face. So it's ready for some makeup application. When you open the box, you will see this. It's got a little warranty card, but it does me no good because it's in Korean and this is a Korean item. It comes with kind of a book that tells you how to use everything. I have read that. This is battery operated. It is not rechargeable. Just keep that in mind, but they do actually give you two sets of batteries in here, which is fantastic. It takes three AAA batteries. Um, in this kit, what I got was the makeup brush. So I'm not going to be testing out, obviously, the face cleansing portion of it. We're going to be focusing on the makeup application. Um, this item retails for $39.90 on Amazon. After the review, if you are interested in purchasing it, go ahead and check the description box down below. In fact, you guys really make it a habit in my videos when you're watching and you're done or anytime in the video, check out that description box because I have links to products, overview of the video. Sometimes I'll put product updates down there. Um, and there's just all kinds of good, good information. Most of the time I will link what makeup I'm wearing down there. And obviously again, a lot of product links or my other videos and all that good stuff. So that description box has some good stuff in it. You guys check it out. Um, but yeah, so this is what the makeup brush looks like. It is very densely packed and very soft. It reminds me a lot of the, what are those called? Those Artiste makeup brushes. And here's what the item itself looks like. Now, obviously I have put the batteries in, so it comes in this little battery back case right here. It has this cap on it and then here's what the mechanism looks like. So essentially you take the brush head and it tells you on here like lock and unlock so when you want to remove it or clean it you can which is awesome that you can buy new brush heads um, which I think is recommended every three months or so depending on how much you use it. So you just go ahead and fit it into the slots. Let's see here. Fit it into the slots and turn so it will lock into place. Now here is your on off button. It has three different settings. So the first one you click, if you can hear that, it's literally a vibrator for your face. Um, so you click that, one time is more power, even more power, and then it brings it down to the lightest setting. So when you initially turn it on, it will do kind of like that middle, middle of the road setting where it's just probably what most people are going to prefer, but if you want an even higher setting, click it again and that vibration will go up even more. So when you wanna turn it off, you just hold the button down and that turns it off. Let's go ahead and test this puppy out and see what it's like. I'm gonna be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Fiji L5. I'm gonna go ahead and put, let's do two pumps just to see. And I will dot this on my face. I have not tried this yet at all, you guys. I have no idea how this is going to work. 
I merely opened it when I got it to get the batteries in and to read the manual so I can give you guys the info. So here we go. And you guys know in typical crystal fashion, I have worn giant earrings when testing out a foundation or a foundation product. So you guys, I can't get over the sound. I'm so immature. Should we do the medium setting? That's the low one. Look. Let's go for the whole shoot shebang. Let's do the high setting. It says here to hold this and then to just kind of gently buff, do not press hard into the skin because I'm assuming the vibration will do the work for you. Okay, so as you guys can see, holy smokes, this is already distributing my product beautifully on my skin. Wow. So I am impressed. One thing I do like, you guys, is that on the top of the brush head and the bottom, it is flat, and the shape of it makes it so you can really get around like your eyes and like above the brow here. And the brush head is like the perfect size, if you ask me. And I'm not pressing very hard at all, you guys. I'm literally just letting it float across my skin. It actually feels pretty good, except on my nose, it really freaking tickles. Woo! Oh my god, it's gonna make me sneeze. Okay. We're good. See how I can actually get it in here and it fits. And I'm gonna go over my eye with it. So I'm not noticing any streakiness or anything. It's really just blending the product beautifully. A little bit of product goes along with it. Like as you can see, I'm able to drag even out a bit what I had and over my nose. It just really distributes a product beautifully. Now I've never tried any kind of makeup brushes like this before. I have a beauty blender or my Delium Tools 957 Kabuki brush type gal. I've never really used a product like this. So I think the best thing is, is yeah, I'm not noticing any kind of streakiness. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this off, grab my mirror and get a closer look. Okay, so you guys, I do have to be totally honest with you. I am really impressed with how this works. So what I'm liking about this is I feel like with the vibration and the very soft brush head, it's making the makeup look like it's a part of my skin and not like it's sitting on top. There is no blotchiness, there's no streakiness. It's like the makeup is so evenly and softly dispersed that it mimics like an airbrush effect. So this is absolutely beautiful so far. Let's just go ahead and see how it compares to using a brush. So I will use a brush. No, you know what, I'm not. I just wanna do the whole face with this because I wanna see my entire face using this method. For some reason I feel comfortable holding it like this versus like holding it like this. I don't know, personal preference. Oh my gosh, yes, but it will. <coughs> it makes me sneeze when I go my nose. I don't know, you guys, do you guys have that? For some reason, when something tickles my nose, oh my God. <coughs> when something tickles my nose, it makes me sneeze. It's terrible, you guys. I remember when I got my nose pierced, they were like, oh, your eye might water, or yeah, your, your eye will water. And I'm like, no, I will sneeze. So not only did my eye water, I sneezed as well. This coverage is beautiful you guys like i have some blemishes down here on my chin and it just i don't know i'm really impressed with this item all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and i will be right back with my final verdict on this face vibrating makeup brush i'll be right back all right, you guys, so I finished up my makeup. I just did a really quick makeup job here, but I do have to say that I am so impressed with this brush. Now, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. They merely just sent me this item to try out, and I do, I have to be honest, like, my skin looks fantastic. Fantastic. This is like the best foundation day I've had in a long time. I would say even since discovering this brush here, you guys know how much I love this, but this does compete with it. Um, pluses. So let's go over what I absolutely love about this. Is I love how it buffs the foundation into the skin. Um, I feel like the vibrating aspect of it really helps really distribute that product super evenly. There's no clinging to dry patches and it just gives you like this flawless airbrushed look. Um, I even notice in how the makeup sits on my face, especially up here. I feel like instead of just, you know, 
pushing makeup all over the place and having it just kind of sitting on top of my skin, I feel like it blended it into my skin. So I see less foundation settling into the lines on my head. My pores are less obvious. Just overall, it just looks so diffused and so beautiful. I am legitimately obsessed. The only thing that I could say is a downside of it is that it tickles like crazy on your nose and it is even though it has like these edges and such that you can get around and blend in there even between the brows it just I have a little bit of trouble with that. I feel like I have a little bit less control over like some of this where I can kind of choose and pat it in but maybe I could try turning the vibration level down and that might help with the sneezing and give me a little bit more time to blend it out but other than that I mean I don't really see any other negatives with this you guys this is a fantastic product if you are interested in something like this you've wanted a makeup blending device like this and you can't afford some of the competitor options like a Clarisonic I know those are over a hundred dollars and you want something that will also cleanse your face and do the makeup you guys go for something like this it's under forty dollars it's definitely worth checking out so again i will put the link down below in case you're interested in purchasing it it is available now on amazon free shipping if you have amazon prime um again that is through go selly which is the seller on Amazon. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you like it. Again, let me know what you guys think of the new camera, if you can tell a difference at all. Um, and of course, before you go, be sure to hit subscribe because we're creeping up so close on 2,000 subscribers. There will be a beautiful giveaway when I hit 2,000. So be on the lookout for that. Um, hit the bell button so you get notifications and you can be the first one to see when I upload a new video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for sitting down and joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!